Wendy Wolf's birthday. <laughs> it is Wendy Wolf's birthday and she has invited all her friends to a party. Happy birthday, Wendy. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Mr Wolf is blowing up balloons for the party. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow these balloons up. <laughs> I love balloons. <laughs> me too. And me. And me. And me. Everybody loves balloons. <laughs> Come on, let's dance. <laughs> Here is Mrs. Wolf. Who wants bubbles? Me, 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 me. Okay, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow some bubbles. <laughs> I love bubbles. They are a bit like balloons, but they pop when you touch them. Watch. Woo! See, I popped one. <laughs> We can always make some more bubbles. Who wants to go? Me! me, 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 me. <laughs> okay. Hooray! Are you ready? Yes, Mrs. Wolf. You have to huff. Huff. And you have to puff. Puff. And blow. <laughs> so many bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the sky. Look at that big bubble! That's not a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon. Ah, and you know what you do when you see a full moon? Um... You howl. Ahoo! Why do you do that? That's what wolves do. We howl at the moon. Wendy, can you teach us how to do that? OK. First, you have to look up at the moon. And then you howl. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Wendy Wolf has taught everyone how to howl like a wolf. Ow! 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 Wow! Who did that one? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't any of us. Ow! It's a wild animal! Ah! Ow! It is Granny Wolf. Happy birthday, Wendy. Hello, Granny. You must all be Wendy's friends. How do you do? Hello, Hello Granny Wolf. <coughs> My, what big ears you've got, Granny Wolf. <laughs> all the better to hear you with. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf. All the better to see you with. And what big teeth you've got. All the better to eat birthday cake. <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> Wendy, what's that in the middle of your cake? It is a little house made of sticks. Ah! Time to blow out the candles, Wendy. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <gasps> You've blown the stick house down. Oh, well done. That's my goal. It was quite easy. <laughs> Houses made of sticks are easy to blow down. I always forget. What's your house made of, Mr Pig? It's made of bricks. Not straw. Bricks. Oh, of course. <laughs> that was a great party, Wendy. Yes, that was my best party ever. Oh. 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 <laughs> Happy birthday, Wendy! <laughs> the market! It is a lovely sunny day and the market has come to town. Apples! Apples! Get your apples here! Cheese! A smelly cheese! Fish! Nice fresh fish! Each market stall sells one thing. Apples! Cheese! Fish. Mr. Fox's stall sells everything. Violins, casters, rocket engines. 
<laughs> Pepper and her family have come to the market to do their shopping. Fresh apples! Can we buy some apples, please? What kind would you like? Big or small? Red or green? We would like the apples that taste nice. Why don't you try one? Mmm, lovely. A bag of the lovely apples, please. Thank you. <laughs> cheese! Cheese! Yum, yum. George loves cheese. <laughs> I've got a very smelly cheese here. Uh, maybe Daddy Pig uh, should give it a sniff. <laughs> oh. The smell of the cheese has knocked Daddy Pig off his feet. Wow, that's what I call a strong cheese. Good, isn't it? Mmm, yum, yum. George likes smelly cheese. <laughs> May we buy that one, please? Of course. Thank you. Fish, nice fresh fish. Can we buy some fish, please? OK, I've got trout. Haddock, mackerel or squid? What would you like? They all look good. How about I give you some of each? Then you can make a lovely fish pie. Fish pie? Yummy! There you go. Thank you very much. Fish, apples, cheese. Here is Mr Fox's store. Bananas, flower tools, handbags. I'm selling anything, really. What do you want? Nothing, thank you. We've bought everything we need. Apples, cheese and fish. Oh, why didn't you come to me first? I've got all of that. Do you sell apples? You've never seen apples like these. They're made of wood. Wooden apples? Brilliant, aren't they? They'll last forever. What else did you buy? Cheese. Cheese? I've got all kinds of cheese here. They don't smell of much. It's because they are plastic. Made of plastic? Yes, guaranteed to last you a lifetime. Buy one, get four free. No, thank you, Mr Fox. You bought a fish too, didn't you? I could have sold you a better fish. No plastic fish, thank you. This isn't plastic. Well, actually it is. But this is an amazing toy fish. Look, it sings. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. And it only needs 24 batteries. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh. Can we have one, Daddy? No. Please. We could take it home and it could sing to us all day. I'm sorry, Pepper, but our house doesn't need a singing fish. OK. Thanks, Mr Fox, but we really do have everything we came for. There must be something else you need. How about an antique china vase that will never break? Because it's, uh, made of plastic. It's really lovely, but we just don't need anything. Oh, it is raining. Ah! We're getting all wet! No worries. I've got just a thing. Umbrellas! Oh, oh, oh. we'll take them. Yes, four umbrellas, please. Mr Fox's store sells everything. You see, it's lucky you came to my stall. Yes, thank you, Mr Fox. And the best thing is, just for today, buy four umbrellas and you get a singing fish free. Oh, goody! <laughs> twinkle, twinkle. Pepper loves markets. Everyone loves markets. Playing pretend. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Let's do a bicycle race. OK. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> oh, no! What's the matter, Peppa? My tyre has gone flat. It's only a puncture. I'm a bit of an expert at mending punctures. First, we take off the wheel. Next, we take the tyre off the wheel. Are you coming, Peppa? Then, we need a bucket of water. Quickly, Daddy. I won't be long, Pepper. While you wait, you could pretend to ride a bicycle. Pretend? Yes, your very own pretend bicycle. Hmm. OK. 
Okay, I have thought of a very nice bike. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm riding my bicycle. La 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 la. <laughs> Why are you walking, Funny? I'm not walking, Susie. Where's your bicycle? It's here. It's a pretend bicycle. <laughs> it's got sparkly wheels and it's painted like a rainbow. Ooh. I wish I had a pretend bicycle. You can, and it can be anything you like. OK, my pretend bicycle is pink and fluffy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. Do you want to play ball? Have you got a ball? No. It doesn't matter. We can have a pretend ball. Catch, Danny! <laughs> Let's give it a big kick. Oof! Oh! Hello, everyone. It is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with a pretend ball. Until Danny kicked it over there. Oh, I know a pretending game. You have to guess what I am. You're a rabbit. No, I'm pretending to be something else. Are you a donkey? No. Are you a fluffy elephant? No. A space rocket? No. <sighs> this is going to take a long time, isn't it? Ask me if I'm big. Are you big? No. I'll give you a clue. I'm a vegetable. Hmm. Can you give us a better clue? Ask me if I'm a carrot. Are you a carrot? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> George has come to play. George, you pretend to be something and we will guess what you are. <laughs> A dinosaur. <laughs> That's too easy, George. You can be anything in the whole wide world. George is thinking. <laughs> <sighs> A dinosaur. Hello, everyone. Here is Pedro Pony. What are you playing? We were playing a pretend guessing game, but I think that game is over. What game do you want to play, Pedro? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Yes! Let's find some puddles! <coughs> oh, there are no puddles. <coughs> you need rain for puddles. We can pretend it's raining. <laughs> it's raining, it's pouring. <laughs> Splishes, splosh, the rain comes down. Diddly, diddly, diddly. <laughs> the pretend rain has made pretend puddles. Hooray! Splish, splash, splosh. Peppa, your bike is mended. I don't need it now, Daddy. Oh? I'm pretending to jump up and down in muddy puddles. Ah, yes. Those puddles do look rather good. I think I'll do some puddle jumping myself. Ready, steady. Stop! What's the matter, Pepper? If you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> but I'm wearing my best pretend boots. <laughs> then you are allowed to jump. Ready, steady, jump! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in pretend muddy puddles. Everyone loves... The castle. Today, Pepper and George are going to visit a castle. What will we do at the castle, Mummy? Let me see what the guidebook says. Will the castle be good or will it be boring? It will be good. Will we see knights in armour? <laughs> George likes knights in armour. You never know, George. We might even see a dragon. A pretend dragon, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Dragons are in storybooks. They're not really real. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the castle. Welcome to the castle tour. Cars are parked at owner's risk. What does that mean, Daddy? Oh, nothing, Pepper. They always say that in car parks. Please make your way to the castle, where you will be met by a knight in armour. <laughs> Hello! It is Mr Rabbit, dressed as a knight in armour. We start the castle tour here, at the cannon. In the olden days, this cannon fired these heavy cannonballs high up into the sky. Daddy, is he going to fire the cannon? No, that would be crazy. Right, let's fire the cannon. 
Five, four, three, two, one, fire! That almost hit our car. Well, we do say cars are parked at owner's risk. On with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. Eat a real medieval banquet? Wow, a real medieval banquet. It sounds delicious. And meet a dragon. <laughs> this is the royal throne room where the king and queen would sit. Ooh. Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh. Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow! This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box! Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes! Uh, it's heading for our car. Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour. Hope you had a lovely time. I think that was George's best day out ever. <laughs> George loves castles.